so many opinions. We're just going back and forth. Okay, so Rain's hasted. Or she's about to be, yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm thinking about some spirit guardians for Rain, maybe? Some good spirit guardians? A good concentration spell that she has. She can just keep up. Oh, I know what I'm gonna put on. Mm. Shit, I gotta remember how to play this new one again. <laughs> I think I I think I've only been in combat like twice with the new changes. It's always the tough part. And we're such a high level. I have to learn like everything all over again. Honestly, this is what I do half the time is I just come back and re all my stuff for like 10 minutes before coming in. Nice. If rain gonna smack, I'm gonna set rain up to smack the devil. Hey, how's it going? Alrighty. So, fairly short recap of everyone getting fully repaired on what they had equipment wise, getting information on the arm and seeing how progress is going in what's only been a few days. Getting the. Well. Uh, Bastard bloodline, but still the only bloodline of the king to safety over in Anso, as well as setting up a well, conversation with others and starting to bring delegates together. At that point, you had brought a gift to King Stir and was able to stay the night and convince him to accompany you to remove this Yotun from power permanently. After your arrival here, there's a Little hostilities between Fravanoth as well as even the tree itself having a manifest anger, but we were able to steady things out for a time even though the giants and the dragon wanted to very clearly clash. Because at this point, as everyone sur surrounded in Fiona's throne, seeing the various bones decapitating and separating as much as they could, the remaining imprisonment spells as well as other pieces that are there that have been Holding him there, none had been moved as a safety precaution, in case that would awaken him from his imprisonment. It's at this point where it is now full preparation, everyone getting their casts and buffs ready before closing or moving the main incense burner slash area a chest that has been holding him in his imprisonment for this entirety of time. We're down in the turn order real quick. Which, at this point, immediately going straight into it and preparing things. Alrighty. Here we go. Alright. Everybody throw down your initiatives. Alright, so they're ready to action. I guess what, Thalos and I pop a mushroom? Yeah. Yeah, Thalos, rain Hillguard, well. Rain. Um, I don't know if Eidolon wants one or. Gotta get you high. No, I'm just fine. It's your high, man. I gotta find this notebook because I don't know how much of any of my shit I have anymore. Idolon. Guerdon. Yes. 
I don't have any mushrooms. They, we are offering everyone mushrooms. We have plenty. At the start of combat? Yeah, we have been no, prepping like for several... I mean, at least 45 minutes standing in front of this guy. Wait a minute, I thought I had a ring. Of course he gets it. Ah. I will eat a mushroom and my lips will engulf part of Modar's fingers like a horse. I, I I don't know how I got stuck feeding the <laughs> to the to the fucking uh, paladin horse, but okay. Me? I think this might th this might top out as the most sheets I've ever had open for a combat as a player. I think this would no, be... that's not true. This is the same number, I think, as before. If Maybe I do we'll... one more summon. <laughs> Nate, if, if it becomes too much, let me know. I mean, I can take uh, rain. The only thing is, the reason why I, I, I back away is because I have a habit. I don't know if I can play her as true to rain as you do. <laughs> Uh, or all, if all of a sudden she'd be like flying around, blitzing heels, and you know. I, uh, you know, I've done it both ways. Uh, uh, I, I'm sure you guys all remember me playing Rain in the tower, uh, of of fucking fucky magic bullshit, where yeah. she was obliterating folks. Uh, but let's get some holy weaponing and some shits and some giggles and whatnot. It's all shits and giggles until you giggle and shit. Yeah, shit while giggling. <laughs> In the one time, and no one lets you forget. <laughs> so many jokes that lean into that. Enjoying a milkshake over there? Damn yeah, right. Oh, Watermelon, agua, fresca, agua fresca. Good stuff. Oh, great. What the? As the sensor is sealed, you do see the giant slowly stir to life for a moment before looking at everyone in the room as he stands up fully awake and shaken from the spell. <laughs> see for those who understand giant here can quickly boom out an echo across this hall. I see my home is still infested with vermin. I'll make do with what I have. Your king calls. As you hear that reverberate through this hall, you see runes light up between the floor and the walls, long carved into the stone. Aw, oh, motherfucker, I knew there was a way you were still gonna give us ads. <laughs> I cast uh uh. No uh. -uh. With that. I upcast no uh at ninth level. <laughs> uh, Artorius is going to let's see haste himself actually. Uh, that down and he's going to immediately start moving for the front.
I guess we put as much into him as we can until these ads come out. Effectively. This is the lair. Especially the runes that you'd seen, you see. Many of the bodies manifest the dust, pick up the weapons form, and long forgotten echoes of these creatures are manifesting from the very walls themselves. I have a surprise for you. I. I forgot to roll initiative. You. You. <laughs> it's a surprise tool that'll help us later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and take your turn. Uh, I am hasted. I have how much movement? 30 movement. So I go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and I'll expend my second haste action to dash. Hi. And I will whack twice. Fuck him up. Ham bam. Ham bam. Both definitely. <laughs> a nine and a nineteen. Melee starts sinking your scimitar straight into the leg of this Jotun as he looks down and kind of sneers in pain and you're <laughs> you fucking assaulting him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he just looks big. Uh, is that all? That'll be item. All right, cool. Uh, legendary action, sweeping blow. Cast <laughs> Um, what is? Uh, with that, it's basically just one of his legendary actions himself. He's just moving that fast in this. Not a spell or anything. But uh with that I need Island to make a dexterity saving throw. DC nineteen as he sweeps this massive mole towards your face. Could give me one second. I forgot to set up her line of protection for herself. A world rain. I'm sorry, what was the what was the saving throw? Nineteen dex. The dex. Hello. Hey kid, that's what 22. 22. All right, where's the second cover? Aura of protection? Aura of protection. Gotcha. Alrighty. So you do not take damage as this massive burning mole flies past your face and you feel the intense heat. Would have definitely fucking hurt, but also you can see he sweeps most of the treasure and other things away from him as it just le leaves this massive arc in front of him. Quickly get over to pulling all the boys in from the runic summons. Boys, 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 boys. Stylus gets to see them manifest partially in front of him as well. Some with weapons, some of them more sentient, others that are spectral in nature as the clouds form their bodies. Do they look like forms we've seen before? Cloud giants or cloud giants, frost giants, and fire giants. You fucking hate us, don't you? <laughs> Come on. You're um. If I hated you, I would have just had them swing. <laughs> Ignore that one. They just look big. They just look terrifying. God damn, you're not done? No. Going in. Yeah.
Is the ship... I forget, did we actually fly via the ship here, or did no, we... No, you stepped through the tree. No, we, we, we teleported. The tree, so we do not have the Krieg banner going on. No. Damn. No, I... Yeah, we decided it was, uh... To not put it at risk or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, Mira, I'm going in. Uh, let's see. Oh, fuck. I almost forgot. What other set? Because I was looking at the walls. No, that's fine. I don't know, it's just... Their initiative's already rolled. Make sure you get that as they manifest from the treasure that is surrounding the king, his last guard. There we are. As Nira sees this, she's going to immediately go straight in for the kill on these boys. Raging without mercy. Special. Damn. She manages to land all three hits on that. And even though this guard had just appeared, it looks like it's almost completely dead. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ramus. Um. Modar, do you think your guys have this one? Or. I nod. Or the right. me, me goes, yeah! Alright, so Ramus takes a bonus to pop his wings. And. Is there enough space to get advantage over here, or no? On uh, the other side, you would definitely be able to get advantage on that. Okay. Um, and on the way, I grab these two boys to come with me. All right. Um... And I start, I guess I start swinging. Fuck him up. And it's, what, it's it's one extra action and bonus action, right, for the hasted? Just an extra, uh, just an extra action, no extra bonus action. But so just speed is also doubled and all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's just one extra action? Yep. Okay. And it can only, you can only attack, dodge, disengage. But if you dash. have... Or but dash. if your one, but if your one action allows you two attacks, it doesn't. It doesn't grant it doesn't, you extra. No, attack. No, it's, it's it a just single. It's a single oh. weapon attack. Yeah. Oh, if you okay. have it. All right. Wait, where's my sword? Oh, there oh, we go. Oh no, I left my sword at home. <laughs> Guys, can we pause? <laughs> there we go. We'll talk off high. Alrighty. Hold on. Does an 18 hit? Probably not. No, an 18 would not hit. Does a 21 hit? Yes. Oh, and then I get a... Uh... Hold on, there's gonna be more rolling because my extra action. Uh, yeah, one more attack. Oh, that definitely doesn't hit. Oh, wait, I should be rolling at advantage, shouldn't I? Uh, sure. With the positioning, not on that, it would have to be directly attacking through the throne, which is just... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, you'd have to be standing here. Yeah. He has just, just enough cover with the th back of the throne covering him right now. And... and swivel around. Okay, so that's... And then, uh... Where the hell did I put it? When did I get so much crap? <laughs> oh, you're the king of the crap in this king campaign. You love to take shit. No, but like... They gave me more tools. 
All right. He is now branded. Um, anyone he hits, he takes four psychic damage, and he's also tethered, which is pretty cool. Um, he can't dash. Uh, he can't. He can attempt to teleport, but if he does, he takes f uh, four d six and has to save. And if he fails, he can't do anything. Or he just sits his ass down, basically. Alright. And, oh wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. I th is there more? No, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. Um, as long as I, he's branded, I get advantage. There you go. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, so that... Oh, I can do that on any hit. I should have did that on my first hit. Then the rest would have been advantage. Well, you learn. More than enough. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, Hemis, um, he'll just do one singular attack for the last of his legendary comeuppance and try to crush you with his maul. 25 to try and hit you. Uh, what's tiebreaker? Uh, if it meets, it beats, basically. Okay. Um, reaction... Mm -hmm. Uh, eyeless. He, whatever that is, whatever the, uh, 1D, uh, 1D10, no, 1D10 off of the attack roll. Alrighty. Oh, even with a 1, that would reduce him enough below your 25 EC to glance off you and not do anything. Oh, I thought 20, uh, if we, I thought Ty went to, uh, attacker. It does if you're reducing it with the reaction. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. I give him the finger. <laughs> oh, and then my two shadows attempt to... Drain him after he's attempted yeah. retaliation at you. Wing rights. Fuck him up. Neither of them hit. I gotta get them in position. The heavy runic pieces of his armor block out the strength drain of these shadows, but... Hopefully this will give Aiden... A good advantage, but you can tell he's trying to get out of this mixture of combat between his throne. Alrighty. Modar. Hello. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I have two more pets. <laughs> oh, wait, yep. Where, where are they going? I told you, I come with a fucking gang. <laughs> the small army. This one goes over here. Light them up. Which they would both have advantage. <laughs> Oh damn, I'm struggling. That was a rough roll on that one. Unfortunately, that would miss on the skeleton. Uh, will this one take opportunity if he moves from where he is? Or is uh, this thing uh, still, like, raising? Actually, roll, roll that again, because that's still... Oh, it right man. Yeah. I was going to say, like... Even better. Oof. All right. Uh, the skeleton there for the shadow, if shadow would still have advantage on it. Alright, so I'm just gonna attack this one. S 
Think that would hit it. All right, semi. Uh... Summon a Cobrock as you pull energy from this undead summon. Oh, and it rolls a damn of one that one, and one strength is gone. Seems to pull some of the necrotic tethers that are holding this creature together, but there's just so much of it, it's hard to grab all at once. Alright. Now, Modar. Apologies. Hello. Uh, name? Modar is going to very, very quickly uh, whip towards the... How do you pronounce his name? Fjernar. Fjernar. Uh, uh, and I'm going to open my spellbook to the last page. One of the only spells not written by my hand in this book. And I'm going to cast Blade of Disaster. Oh. Uh, can Blade of Disaster benefit from advantage from positioning by Ramus if I put it right here? Yes, it can, because it's a melee spell attack. Excellent. I make two attacks with Blade of Disaster uh, the round that I cast it. That's oh a crit and a 32. Damn. On a crit, uh, it does a total of 12 d12 force damage. So that is... Damn. That. Disgusting damage. D fucking disgusting. So just the 27 Damn. and the 60. Uh, for that. Holy fucking uh, so that's eight. So that's 87 on the first one. And then... Uh, 28 more. God damn. 115. I've been waiting <laughs> a million years to cast this spell. Uh, it looks exactly like my, uh, 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 the Grieving Vindicator, except the blade is a, a perfect plane. It is a, 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 a micron wide and it just slides right into his armor like it's not there. I will then turn and tap my uh, staff on the ground to cast a uh, wall of force. That was ridiculous. It's fucking one of the greatest sleeper spells and everyone mocks it all the time. I would like... Oh, hold on. Linger... Uh, I'm going to cast a wall of force here from my staff of power for five charges. Alrighty. Scribble. Eh, yes, scribble polygon. <laughs> Boom. Even better. Yours is smoother. <laughs> yeah. So they gotta go around that, and it goes up, uh, the, what, 20, 30 feet in there. Pretty much. So it's pretty much eye level with them, so unless they can fly over the top, we're good, uh, over there. Uh, Somebody's and got I'll... This waist type, but yes. Sure, absolutely. Uh, uh, but unless they're gonna kick a hole through it, I, that's a good start for me as a non-concentration spell. And I'll shout in giant... Uh, as respectfully as I can mid-combat, King Snur, please help us with the rogue giants. We'll handle the, the god. That'll be me. Right. Oh, yeah, Zuri came out there yeah, a little bit. Super Zuri. <laughs> Alrighty. The frost giant skeleton is going to try and put two... Oh... Uh... Yeah, no. It's going to try and put to the the fire giant in front of it because the shadow gripped onto it, but it's a small thing compared. Damn. Is the wall of force visible? It is invisible, uh, but because we are all connected telepathically, you guys all know where it is because I know where it is. Okay. All right, so, so this guard takes 44 slashing damage as the skeleton finds excellent purchase past the black iron. And rain. Could I add what the red dots mean on some of the giants? That was just the wave marker of when they first came out. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. 
So there's Could another I... wave, is what you're saying. I mean, if you take too long. That's concerning. Okay. okay. Um, this this uh, individual that's in front of me. Uh, he would be behind a wall of force. That's what the. Blue... The blue. Yeah. Yes. Okay. They're gonna have All to right. fly over or go around. No, I'm not gonna fly. I'm gonna move towards Nero. All right. Um, 10, 15, 20. Actually, could I flank that creature with her? You are hasted, so your speed is doubled and you have plus two to your AC. And There's all that. the. I also Ooh. have a demon here, so. So, either side you want to be on, you would be, have advantage. Okay. It's a Bonk the clock. Would I technically be flanking both of these creatures if I stand here? Uh, for that. Uh, this is not an enemy. Yeah, this that, is our boy. Yeah, this oh. this one came with you. This one's a, these three the, guys are these the three safe. Are, 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 yeah. yeah, they're the fire, fire guys. guys who came with us. The Everybody gingers are with us. us. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing my heartbreaker then. All right, shattered in bones. Yeah. Oh. I figured it, won't hit. it is still just a skeleton. Really? Yeah. Okay. That was kind of surprising. They're a little brittle, I guess. Uh, definitely, because uh, since you did bludgeoning, that gets turned into a 22, because they do have a weakness to that. So, oh. effectively, have just done 40 raw damage to this thing, and with that, it shatters that femur and just starts crumbling down back into the pile of gold. Hmm. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I was kidding. Don't take that to heart, Dan. <laughs> Pulls up their uh, guns. No. Yeah, I was just kidding. And just jokes. I want to use my golden gloves and kick open my wing. All right. And I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna stay here. Alright. Uh, from enough is going to take flight and is gonna try and keep a couple of these intertwined with her. Is Rain also hasted or oh, no? Oh shit. I he is, yes. Thalos. Oh, I'm an idiot. So you get another attack now? She does. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. If you want right, to so I, can, you enough... I can still move this way. Mm -hmm. and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna attack this bag of bones here. Shatter him. Good lord. Alright. It's gonna be like dust. 39 has he. It's starting to get up and is almost completely bloodied at that point. You basically took almost half his health off of that one strike. Okay, I'll stay here now. All right. And Frogmouth is going to try and take on this Frost Giant Zombie as well as keeping the other detained for the time being. Thirty-two and a twenty will hit. Fortunate net one was. He starts ripping the zombie apart. So we immediately go over to well, one that finally gets to act before anything else. So we'll move into all the lightning constructs and going for boy south of him. Back swings, both horrible. <laughs> Basically two net ones as it hobbles over the gold and slides and doesn't even make purchase. Aha! And I haven't even finished buffing them yet. This thing will try to spectral touch from it. First one will miss, but the second will make connection as it rends some of her body from the 
flank and tears off part of her scales and you would see well fellows could see probably best of all in this situation that some of the areas that it touched starts to blacken over and necrotize immediately Stop the big one! And at least they'll stop arriving! This giant is. Well, he sees a whole bunch of glowing boys. Start hobbling his big ass over there. No, wait, I need two turns to set up my ultimate combo. I make two strikes in the living lightning. No. Do you think? Do you guys think if we down him, all of them will go too? Uh, it's the living lightning there. That's twenty-four damage. That was my Four. thought. Yep. Yeah, that cut off the head. It's not. Is that magical? No. Okay. So twenty-four half to twelve for the living lightning. Yep. And the spectral. coming in for that cold touch and the lightning and the golem. No. On the golem. My golem. That's 25 to hit it for 29 force and 9 necrotic. 29 force and 9 necrotic. Gotcha. And then the living lightning. That'll be 25 to hit for another 22 force and 12 necrotic. The Lightning Hulk. Okay, Lightning Hulk. Gonna go for this skeletal boy first, since he seemed fragilist. Uh... Oh, uh, this thing uh, touched the Lightning Hulk, right? It took tw it took it takes two d six damage for doing so. so that's five for hitting it. The other one missed though. Uh, Lightning Hulk makes a arc weapon attack against the injured one. A 23 to hit. 23 will definitely hit against the Spectre, right? Against this one first. Alright. So that's 21 Lightning, and then the Lightning does jump to the Spectre. Uh, the second creature, so that needs to make a DC 18 deck save versus 15 more Lightning damage. Uh, 21. Okay. This creature is the only one that takes damage, but it also cannot take reactions. Excellent. Uh, and that's gonna be the Hulk's turn. I'll I'll move the Hulk so that it so that the spectral thing will start with with some lightning damage as well. Alright. Start coasting into it for that nice and lightning we can cook it. Mm. This one is going to level a great axe towards fucking off. Advantage now. Twenty-one and a net twenty to sink an axe into her scales. So they start tearing apart the dragon as much as they can. Being snared with this new magnificent hammer that you've gifted him. It's gonna try. well very gladly. Shuffle over here and sink a, one of those into the spinal column of this one. 43. Yeah, with this slight previous damage from the shadow, one strike on the bone guard here basically shatters and scatters it everywhere. I really enjoy your gift. It's already come in handy. And quickly thunders over to here to get another advantage strike on another skeletal guard here. Another 52 as good lord. That doubles into 104 bludgeoning on this thing as he sunders another one. And he, let's see, 
Well, that would be the most speed he's got. But effectively just shattered two of the boys for you, wiping that squad out. You know, is definitely hurting. He is not happy in this current situation. I mean, he just did take like 160, 200 damage in a very short period of time. Oh, fuck yeah. He woke up, he was like, vermin, and then the vermin immediately started to melt the bones off of his stab, body. Stab, stab, stab. So, let's see. he is getting a frightful pre presence in there. Oh dear. So I need everyone in the room, pretty much, to make a DC 19 wisdom saving throw. Is it? It is fear. It is not a spell. Eidolon, do you have anything for us for fear? No. Aura doing no. How, is, how You're big is too your aura? Far away. It's only ten feet. Yeah. Oh dear. I'm multi-classed, but don't worry, I'm not afraid. <laughs> Hillguard, Hillguard makes it. <laughs> the lightning uh, can't be scared. The Hulk can be scared. Does Dallas count since he's technically not in the room? Uh, let me double check the wording on this real quick. Yay, advantage. Uh, it does say anyone aware of it, so yes, you would have to make one thousand. Yeah, just check. All right, you're fine. Is it wisdom? Yes, sir. Yay. Dallas makes it as well. Alrighty. Now he's Did anybody fail? Uh, Kingster and the guard. Uh, that's about it. I think my lightning hulk with an 18 fails. How uh, did Kingster... He should be so angry that this guy shouldn't scare him. Should <laughs> be. But fear is a fear. Uh, Colonizer. gods. Plus, there's the ordaining. Yeah, I mean, and their god just got angry. Like, yeah. And I almost forgot Artorius. But, I mean, hard pressed for him. Yeah, to... Artorius! <laughs> Finally! Artorius! <laughs> and now he is going to try and. Well, put a mall in the idol in as well as Ramus. 28 to hit Eidolon. For 57 bludgeoning as he crushes you into the fucking marble. If Gordon has a reaction or not, I don't know. Hmm. I believe they've already used their reaction this round. That is true. I have it. Would I use it? Or... I don't know. Uh... You said reaction when you got hit before. I didn't get hit before. When you did the sweeping strike? You did, yeah. Uh, it was a saving throw, and I said, hold on, let me add my aura protection to my... Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he deflected it. Right. Yeah. He said, I, I used a reaction. To, I don't have anything mm. to deflect at 29. Alright. That's 57 bludgeoning to you. And he's gonna try and strike... Yep, so 33 definitely hits Ramus. Or yep. total 54 bludgeoning as he slams the ball into you as well. How much? 54 bludgeoning. And it is a magical weapon. Oh. And he's just going to stay right in that spot. Is he sure about that? Yeah. All right. Uh, the living lightning down here that's being squeezed. Hello, living lightning. Uh, 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 uh attacking. Uh, uh, 
not flanking with anybody, unfortunately, so he's going to be less effective than usual, but we'll go two on the spectral thing for... Nope, that's the Hulk. Here we go. It's magical strikes. 19 and a 12. 19 and a 12. Both hit. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, 41 lightning damage. That thing? No, this one. Boy. The one that's like a cloud. Oh. Right, you did say spectral. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. All right, and you said lightning? It is lightning damage. I find out how effective I am in this moment. All right, uh, it fully goes through. It fully goes through. Dope! Send it Excellent. As it sears a good part of its spectral body away, but it still tries to maintain its wispy form. That's gonna Wait. be it. It stays where it is. We have ghosts and we have paladins and clerics, but they're not attacking the ghosts. Well, they arrived just in after. And Rain's yeah, attacking. Also... Oh, right. Yeah. She is, though. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the clerics do what they're supposed to be doing. Me four? Um. <sighs> I would like to. I'll do I'll do the thing that I was gonna do and not the the eight thousand uh, IQ move. Uh, bonus action from me: Fizzband's Platinum Shield. Uh, me starts to glow, and an aura appears around them that protects the three summons. They all get plus two AC and resistance to those types of damages and evasion. Uh, I will create a five foot aura around me. Bang. Uh, and then for my action, me is going to hold up his Ring of Air Elemental Command. And he's going to chain lightning. Ooh. Uh, these, that's both, these are both squares that these creatures are occupying, right? Correct. Okay, chain lightning on this one, it jumps to these three. Alrighty. DC 23 uh, dexterity saves versus 37 lightning damage for those four boys. Chain lightning might be like my favorite spell of anything. It Hell yeah. And, and he can do it from his spell for three charges. All or from right. his ring. Three fail, but the furthest spectral one manages to wisp away just enough to get to half. Okay. Uh, me is going to stay right where he is in the middle of the the clusterfuck, and uh, he'll also shout in giant for uh the fire giants to fight these guys. Alrighty, hearing that, especially this one's a little bit afraid. He'll take that and cover the rear guard since he knows his cape would want the glory. Even with a disadvantage, she still managed to land one of those attacks. Especially the heavier fire guns. Still does a devastating 35 slashing as it sinks an axe into the chest of this one. And his wisdom save at the end. He's still feared, but he's still holding on. Living Lightning. My uh, Living Lightning. Joop, Jop, Zippity Bop, uh, and it's more effective to magical strikes because of advantage, so I will not spell mimic. Bang, bang, both of this guy. 25 and a 24. Both definitely land. Total of 46 lightning damage to what looks like a cold boy. A frosty zombie boy who's got an axe made of ice. Excellent. Uh, it's then going to come back, uh, around, and back into the fizz bands. Alrighty. Spectral Cloud. He's a fresh boy to fucking squeeze her health. Some team will miss, but a 25 will land on him. 
23 force that rends through part of the armor. And Bell's Helgard, the one on the inside of the wall. <laughs> All right, Helgard is going to. Yeah. You only live once, especially when you're in simulacrum. Hey, now. Until they bring you back. <laughs> All right. Yes! Hailguard's going to shout, Dragon Sword! And turn into a bronze dragon. Yes! It's coming in hot. You love to see it. Absolutely. I think I've got it in... Here, let me just grab it. Yeah, you should have control of it. Where are you? Okay. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Um, he's actually going to fly up and over the force barrier and trade places with Thalos. And when he gets here, he's going to let off a breath weapon. And quick question. Um. The breath weapon, which is a lightning bolt, that's considered a straight line, right? Uh, yes, it would be. But uh, okay. Fravanoth is currently flying. He is. Okay, all right. In that case, yeah. Then I'm sending a straight line clean through. Hopefully, you guys can see the arrow. Uh, sorry. No. One lower down. We... All three of those bad boys. All righty. Let's see if they can they're make... bad and they're boys. Give me that damage. Well, uh, apologies. You know these beings. Uh, what are you gonna do when they come? Greater than you? usual size. <laughs> I shall see. Gi giants of unusual size. Giants of unusual size. Yeah. Impossible. <laughs> Looks over the computer. Oh no. I'm just trying to. For some reason, it doesn't look like I've got the card. I should though. Damn it! Sorry. One sec. Hold on. Is it on your character sheet or on the dragon's? It should be on the dragon's character sheet, but for some reason I just don't see it. It's probably... is it at the... oh, yep, yeah, it's at the yeah. top. Here we go. It is an adult bronze dragon, though. Just, uh, make sure that's... Huh. Say no baby dragon. Dragon! Okay. Switch that out real quick. Y'all remember when, when that that one fight when he cast Baby Dragon and then somebody fucking warps time and Baby Dragon becomes Ancient Dragon? It was nuts. Yeah, when Yu-Gi-Oh started to show early stages of the uh, the synchro monsters. Mm -hmm. Yo, that synchro season was fucking weird. The racing shit. Yeah, it's like. Here we're gonna play card games while racing on a fucking track, like, huh? I mean, where do you go once once you've got discs that spin on the ground in front of you like giant Bakugan? Uh, have... There we go. Perfect. Thank you, sir. He's so big. He's big. It's chunky. What they say? Let's do it. Alrighty. Go ahead and roll me that 12 d10. Alright. Oh, gotta do it myself. Huh? Yeah, right. manual. No Breath worries. weapons are usually like that. If you want to cross the board, unless they make sense. Oh, bad. Good lord. The only one that makes it the spectral is because they have. Less body mass, but also no legs. The other two frost right. giants are seared horrifically by lightning as it scorches across and bounces off the wall force. Alrighty. Will that be All right, that, 
That'll be Hellguard. Yeah. Fire Giant. Oh, he doesn't have fear, and he's gonna try and get rid of this other skeleton helping Rain. Oh, he should have helped his boy. Oh well. This is acceptable. Crush that one for good. Uh, 55 slash revenge. Spectral boys. Is the other spectral boy coming in? What's a piece of that lightning? It's so no. shiny. No, my lightning boy. 20 to uh, his AC. Hit. Yep. Sorry. Uh, 21 force, uh, 12 necrotic. Uh, me is actually going to use his reaction to uh, throw out his arcane protected uh, projected ward. You said, what was the total? Uh, t total overall is 33. 33. Mix of force and necrotic. Okay, the ward cracks and is barely still there, but it does take the full hit from this thing. All right, second touch attempt. 28 to hit it. It is still there. The The 28 definitely hits. All right, 29 force, 8 necrotic for a total of 37. Okay, I can soak 8 of that. So 29 goes to this thing, which pops that boy and they all start to look down at the other lightning and me for yeah even with the resistance that wouldn't get past damn it all right the real thalos a yeah, real thalos uh will also follow suit oh god but instead real thalos is going to draw on the images of what he saw, the giant angels that we saw floating around uh, in Shishapunik, guarding the uh, the cathedral and uh, the lady, the golden lady's house, and he will turn into a planetar. Ooh. Oh shit! My man. Let me let me go get that juicy fucking sheet for you. I'm sorry, what? Uh, uh, fucking boy, planetar, fucking baby. Uh, yeah. I I love to imagine that you still look like you, but you're just a planetar now. Yeah, but the great, the best part with the green theme is that they're green-skinned with, like, golden wings. So it's literally, like, my Megazord version of my dragon, so. Bro. That's so fucking awesome. I thought you were gonna go, I thought you were gonna do a time dragon. I thought you, I, I was like, oh shit. Oh, that's how, uh, Michael looks in, uh, Persona, Persona Five, actually, Archangel, with 120 feet of flight. Whoa. Yeah, Whoa. that thing busted ass. It was the strongest Persona, at least strength-wise. Beat the oh, shit yes. out of a boss while using that thing. So with 120 feet of flight and needing to get over the 30-foot barrier, I need to be able to move 90 feet. Sorry about that. Uh, to get right, I think. What? Sorry, no, I broke that arrow. Uh, <laughs> Uh, to get... Well, apparently I only need 85 feet. So, I fly up and over the barrier. Oh, God. Landing in perfect position to give, uh, rain and, uh... Who's, who's down there? Oh, some, like, two people advantage at the very least. Good fucking or... God. And uh, as I land, I hit it with the with the uh, planetar multi attack. Let's do it. Oh, sorry. There's the proper. Okay. Especially on your approach, you kind of see fear, and I look at you a little shocked, and it's like, Celestia already sends more champions. I thought I killed most of you. <laughs> Rangers together! Alright, so you get to recognize that this angel is Dallas. Um, 
There we go. Sorry. No problem. I know it's unusual to get the yeah. character sheets. 28 and 24. Will those hit? Definitely. All right. Uh, shit. All right. So that's 46 plus 7 slashing plus 5d8 radiant. If you click on the attack in the chat bar there, it'll roll the damage right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sweet. I always forget about that option. Right. Uh, give it to me. It's spinning on my side. That's absolutely fine. Bomb roll 20, you can do it. I know uh, you can. I believe in you, roll 20. Like, no, you've got too many sheets open. It's your fault. You're, you're having too much fun. <laughs> Just in case, I'm going to code this out. Try giving that the manual roll, try. Yeah. There we are. And don't forget the and... extra radiant. Yeah. Eight. All right, and second strike. Good Lord. All right, there we go. So that's 44 from the first strike, an additional 42 from the second strike. He is not looking good at all from that. And I'm that'll be to take his head. All right, at the end of your turn, Thanos. He's at the point of absolute frustration. He will spend that two on the legendary action and go for that sweeping blow. Oh wait, he was supposed to take damage every time he hits somebody that I can see. He Within takes five feet of you. Yeah. Oh, is it five feet? It's whenever he hits you or a person within five feet of you. Oh, okay. So I take that back. All right. Uh, let's see. No, wait. He did take hit me. So. Yeah. So that would be one. He's got to take four damage. All right. The sweeping blow. Uh, how many of us does it hit? Choosing on that. Yeah, he's going to go for the Planetar and Eidolon, so I need Euthalos and Eidolon to make DC-19 deck saving throws as he will sweep in your direction. Okay. Oh, damn, I used my reaction. Negative. Word. Might have fallen asleep on us. No, sorry, I'm trying not to have to leave. That's fair. So I, <laughs> I, I need a dick side, side my pillow. pillow. Oh. 18 would just fail. What what? Uh, both of you will take a total of 39 bludgeoning damage from the magical source. And that would basically be it. So. All right. Cross Giants, they're coming into play again. This one is going to try and sink two into this boy. Uh, only 
one will make purchase, just the other one is blocked off on the armor, but he's getting roughed up and bloodied. Is pressed up to the wall. He gets confused for a moment as brushes a hand against it. Will look down at you, Mogar, and just try to harpoon you with an axe by throwing it at you. The guy on the opposite side of the oh, he's tall enough, right? <laughs> Can't get up to you, but it'll only make one throwing attack. But right, your 15 would miss as it slams of ice axe into the marble with such. He uh, light lightning traces back the path of the um axe. He missed an attack uh, against my mage armor. <clears throat> Takes uh, damage. You see, it looks confused at that, and then like. Still keeps pressing against the wall, trying to figure out how to get by it. Well, he won't be able to fully get into that glory. He'll march over to here. And he is going to make me four, make a constitution saving throw with a freezing stare. DC 13. Um, save. Okay, he has advantage. He gives him blue steel. He gives him the blue steel. Oh, God. Uh, only a 17. All right, you are fine. All right, you avoid, avoid the freezing stare overall as you feel the chill in the air frost over and the marble actually starts to freeze on the ground below you. Realized that he was trying to well, freeze you, but also paralyze you. Woo. Is there half damage? No. It's a save or suck situation for those guys. All right. Uh, this guy. Uh, he's been hammered the hell out of by Rain and the Giant. He's going to try and axe both of them. Twelve will miss Rain. Just gets smacked away. Twenty-four will go into the guard. As that giant will take 24 slashing. And this one. This Frost Maiden. Oh, wow. Is looking at the dragon beside it almost with a sinister and gleeful grin. And it's going to try and swing an ice axe into the chest of Dalos over there. 25 to hit the dragon. Hits. For 21 slashing and 7 cold. And then immediately after it sinks its axe into it, it's going to... Try to full on grab you. Uh, 13 will miss as you... Feel the chill of death go right by your face on that one. And realize that it was going to try and freeze your blood going through your body. Elgard begins to laugh. <laughs> I wouldn't. I am going to use my action to ritual myself with the brand of the flagellated flagellated uh, so after I hit something I can um, I don't think it's an action to do it I think it just happens when you hit like a smite yeah. it, ritual branding as an action you can place a brand on a willing creature uh, as an action. Yeah. <clears throat> right above it uh, ah. Oh, that's use... not one of the options. My apologies. Uh, and then I will use my bonus action to Hexblade to curse this big guy. Oh boy. I'm gonna swivel on down here. And uh, with my hasted action, I will just whack. Oh, close for this guy. 33 definitely hits. So it's solid 19 damage. Plus. Oh, that's supposed to be seven. Plus seven. Rax, but it's curse. Gotcha. 
It's not looking good. And that'll be it. Alright. Artorius. I'm just gonna... I'll go to help his daughter first. It's hasty. Wow, trying to be a good dad or what? What, what is this? I'm trying, alright? Mm -hmm. You get a brownie point. You get credit words too. Warhammer this <laughs> Oh my god. That he would stick on that he smite as well. I think we should start add control up already. I'm on it. Right. This guy's not looking good and Rumble this one. I will trust in the faith of my honored comrades. It's gonna come right down to here. Hey, I can help at least. And go for his other two strengths with the Warhammer. You're doing great, old timer. I love to picture Artorius being like, I can make it, and he inserts himself between a planetar and a blade of disaster. Right? And then crits! Fuck yeah, dude! And we'll stand Smite! On a high Smite! Smite. <laughs> yes! He's legally obligated! Bro, if this guy's alive on my turn, I'm gonna shit. <laughs> I'd be so excited. If he's alive on my turn, I'm gonna shit. <laughs> God, in that first strength. Yeah, Artorius. <laughs> he's a god-killing subclass of Paladin, by the way. That's 83 on the first strike. God damn. Second strike, he'll stack on another smite and pump that. Pump that. Keep it up. That was... That was a four. Twenty... No, forty. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. As you do see, Fjernar hobble for a moment. And he looks around pretty furious at this point as you see his body is now starting to heat up with raw fire. Montorius oh, almost toppled him with that. Actually, no. I was clicking the wrong mark. Uh, yeah, I clicked on the wrong foot. Uh, hilarious enough, as he hobbles down Artorius with the second strike of the extra 40, you see the smoke immediately billow up from the wall and Fjernar. As his wounds magically mend over for the time, as the Fuck. <laughs> giant runes on his body seal it up. Sets it back to. <laughs> And immediately out from his body, you feel this intense heat as incendiary smoke exuding out from him starts to smother the room with white hot embers billowing from his skin. Oh, there's a phase too. Bro, this is this is this is one of the first times that we've we've gotten to fight a a, a end game Josh boss in this campaign. <laughs> there's always a phase two. Always. I Sometimes mean, there's a phase four, which is the ter which is really terrifying. <laughs> After you've just insta gibbed the, the the boss twice with your Vorpal greatsword. It's great. Alrighty, let me check that. Oh yay! Fire resistance on armor. Awesome. I couldn't Woo! have chosen a better time, my guy. Alrighty. 
Yeah, that's fun. All right, so yeah, immediately gets into that fucking point. Artorius is done as a player. Lair actual. At this point, who wants to roll me a d4 real quick? Just don't land on a two. No pressure. All right. Oh. I always trust Ramus with the D4. He's been rolling them the most out of any of us. So, th thankfully he's not a tune. There's no more... Uh, there's no ads coming more in this room. What? Boo! <laughs> no, no, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Boobs. Boobs. <laughs> Boobies. I do need everyone to make a con save. DC 15 as he does slam his foot down and the reverberation echoes thunder through the hall. Yes, sir. I was going to make it take no damage. Is this a... This is a magic, right? So my yeah. living lightning bolt would have advantage? Yes, this is a magic. Barely ball. scrapes by. Hell yeah. Lightning Hulk, yeah, buddy. Oh, I knew that guy was a good investment. Planetar with ease over there, brushing it as I. Godly Thalos is not something I pictured, but this plays into the you getting divine power even more <laughs> shit that I was talking about, where you're like, I have transcended. Pain no longer means Nate, what it used to. This brand that's voracious. That it says advantage against creature, but it doesn't specify what. Is it everything or just attack? Oh, just attack. Alright. You said con. Which brand? Yes. Uh, voracious, because it comes with... I'm high enough for my casting nation to have voracious as well. Uh... Right in the variation, starting at 15th level, you gain advantage on the saving throw for your bloodlust while in hybrid form. Additionally, you have advantage on attack rolls. Yeah. Oh, because here it just says against. All right. All right. Yeah, you Nate, probably just didn't go. cut Capital Blue. What was I will go on. Oh, sorry. 15. Oh, okay. At this point, as you see Mira rushing into the incendiary smoke. Uh, do we tell her to stay out? Would you tell her to? Would you call it? Maybe for now she starts clean up? Yes, I mean, Thalos will say, Nina, stay back! Uh, she would freeze probably like at the bottom step there and then. And you can see she kind of grits her teeth wanting to jump into these burning hot embers to get at this thing. But then, I... bye. Quickly starts rushing. Stay alive. I always do. You better keep so too. She will tr go to try and fucking rush this man. Uh, which she does not have haste right now, so that would have to be her full sprint. Uh, Ramus, as you start your turn there, uh, I need you to make a DC 25 con save. Oh, even, oh, okay, different. I'm sorry, how much did we take from, if we, if we made the save? None. No. Oh. Okay. No damage. DC 25 con. Yes, as uh, this. Oh, damn, it doesn't matter. Alrighty. Fire damage. Uh, yes, it is half fourteen. Then that would get reduced to seven fire damage to you. And with the incendiary smoke. Oh, hold on. These things, honestly, they probably popped. If it was a con, it would be at the start. Oh, but from him just... stopping his feet. Oh, the thunder, yeah. Popped. Thunder definitely would have popped them. Bye bye. Alrighty. So, with that, just starting a turn there. 
And on the fail, you do have disadvantage on your attacks made against this creature. So, that, so it's normal then? Yeah, reduced to normal because the embers burn your eyes and it makes it difficult to see and breathe right now. How loud is this guy? I've got tiger ears, truthfully. Like The thunderclap, if you had failed that, would have deafened you. Like Each footfall is like a thunder. Basically a th rolling thunder across the clouds with him. I'm trying to. I, I'm a tiger guy. I do you think that would really affect? It? I okay. We'll just go with it. <laughs> regular. <laughs> yeah, regular. Because you get the planet on the other side. He's trying to swing at both sides here right now. Okay. If I get into an advantageous position, will it help me or no? You're already in one. Oh, that's okay. why I'd be at normal. No, but I get advantage because I branded him. Um, I get advantage on all my attacks against him. Unfortunately, they do cancel out even if it's multi-stacked. That's just how fifth works. So if there oh, if there's okay. advantage disadvantage, it just tur turns to normal. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Let's do it. Fuck him up. <laughs> He's still fucking landing solid hits on him anyway. Hold on. And let's get some health back. <laughs> That's 26 health. Actually, no, we're going to use all three strikes for that. Plus 36. Oh, and hold on, we're not done. <laughs> we are going to... But wait, there's more. Did I put it in here? Hey, good and it should... Does haste count towards that, or is it just one more action? Uh, so haste is just one extra attack, and that's not the whole round, it's just one attack action. Uh, this would give you the whole set. Okay, would it give me my hasted action back, or no, just mm -hmm. one attack per Just round. the one attack. Okay. Or, there you go, because that would be the hasted action, you get the full, full set of a normal attack round. Good fucking god. Um... This is a boss, yeah, let's do it. God. Just fucking pulsing the tattoo, ripping and sending wave after wave of necrotic energy into this goddamn Getting field. 28 more health. Oh my fucking god. As you bloody him with that flurry of strikes sinking in the blade into him. I am back to max. Holy shit. Good thing uh, I gotta do the work. math, don't I? I've already reduced some by, but you could add it all up if you like. God damn. Have you been- I- I don't know if I want to, if somebody wants to do that for me. Did anything miss? The uh, 17 the Tiger Claw misses, right? Yeah, 17 and 18. But everything else is cannon damage? Yep. That's all correct? Yep. I can add it up. Oh, right. I'll put it all- I'll put it all in chat so we can see the big pop. For... All damage. Uh, and then at the- End of your turn, Ramus. He will, as he's sitting here bleeding, and I'm like shocked and un unable to fully process. Like he just tr tries to quickly retaliate against you, at least some semblance of you know standing up for himself. And so I, of course, hits? use no. I don't think the eighteen hits. No, the eighteen would miss. And what? I, of course, uh, reaction him. Duh. That would miss you, so it was a 20 to try to use these. Oh, never mind, so I guess I don't. Um, <laughs> did the skeleton over here die this round, or was it last round? This is the start of the round. Uh, was the over here? Oh, no, that's too far to hit him, right? Uh, it wouldn't be too far, but it was definitely on Artorius' turn. 
Okay, so now this is a new round. So then, I guess I'm chilling. Alrighty. Uh, your shadow. <laughs> so, oh right, these dudes. <laughs> yeah, the two dudes are still. They're I looking, come with a party. They're looking at the fire like fuck that. <laughs> This one, he, uh, hold on. Strength. Oh, that's a shadow demon. Shadow. Do any of those hit? Since I can't. For advantage. Strength drain on that. They sixteen would hit. Okay. Um. Three strength. Alrighty. And ten necrotic. Or just do these guys? He does necrotic damage. Are they? Uh... I do you see that it does affect him, but it's half damage. So it did five. And the Wisp does look a little bit weaker. Okay, the three dan the three strength is probably the better part. Yeah, that's my turn. The other guy can't reach him, I don't think. Alrighty. Modar. It's been crazy. Hello, he's still up! Amazing. I'm so I'm so proud of him. Good job, buddy. He tries. Uh we uh, chunked down. the shit out of him though. Yeah, he's, hell yeah. He's fucking A turn ticks back. down on Blade of Foresight. Um, I will have it continue to attack, since it's still in range of him. Mm -hmm. Two attacks. A 34. Oh my and another god. crit. Oh my god. 20. Force. And I'll just do this again. And 83 force. Fuck. So, uh, 103 force. Force was it? Force. I see. The <laughs> force. I see. Is God? He's looking horrible after all this. <laughs> like. Good lord. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to take a look at all these guys, and a look at this guy, and I'm going to fully put my back to the God of Giants. As I do not believe that he will live uh, uh, long enough to do. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. I haven't done it ever. Modar will take uh, uh, two steps closer to be fully within range of him. And I just hold up my hand and I utter a word of power. Power word, stun. My god. And there's no save on this. Not on initial, if he is uh, low enough. He said he looked bad. So, What's bad for a god? Is it 150 or less? Uh, with that, as you guys hear this reverberating boom from Modar, and suddenly see the Fjernar quickly hobble on his ball as he's sitting there and kind of takes a knee for a moment, not fall falling over, but just kind of looking like his eyes glazed over and he's just completely befuddled. Rain, finish him. <clears throat> finish him. Uh yeah, that'll be me. I'll draw my sword as a free action and begin to walk towards these guys over here. Alrighty. Rain. Uh I need you to make a DC 25 con save to start your turn, please. Oh, okay. 22. Take two already. You're going to take 17 fire damage, and you'll have disadvantage to try and hit Fionar as the fire embers are just burning at the sides of your eyes and body. It's making it hard to see and not choke on this poisonous gas. Okay, you said 17 damage, right? Yes, ma'am. Fire. Okay. Um... Actually, shouldn't Rain get an additional plus three to con because of Heartbreaker? No, that's when you crit. Comes no, up. that's a different thing. The temp HP is when she crits. That's when the thing explodes. 
Alright, so... I'm almost positive. Hold on. Mm. Oh, fuck, where is it? Heartbreaker. Uh... When attuned with the hammer, all creatures within 20 feet of the jam gain a plus 3 to charisma and constitution saving throws. When it shatters, the aura fades. Whoa. So until that shatters and the t and the extra damage happens, mm -hmm. she gets the plus 3. So yeah. I believe she would actually save. Alright, that would be just... So do I take any damage? Uh, you would not take any damage and you would not have disadvantage because you're able to weather this burning Ooh. smoke. In fact, you would have advantage because he's stunned. Okay, so I'm gonna attack him. I'm a heartbreaker. Don't forget, you have the extra attack because you're hasted as well. And you can war priest for the third attack as a bonus action. Uh huh. If you want. Wait, wait! I could do a third attack. Aren't you a war cleric? Yeah, you know yeah. when you do your war cleric thing, you get an extra attack, and we gave you a haste leaf. Or mushroom before the battle, so you get that extra attack as well. So, three, yeah. three attacks if you want it. Okay. I'm gonna do that then. At advantage. You didn't At advantage, it. wait, let me tell her that. Okay. Yes, nope. right. 31 to hit. <laughs> 31 to hit definitely hits. Uh, oh, good. 20. 28 damage. It definitely fucking hurts sitting there trying to He's still defend us. Right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go again. Yeah. Break his Break his Kick his ass. Fucking 31 damage. She's. I am definitely aiming for kneecap. That's my favorite. Not the knees. Definitely the knees. <laughs> you don't need those. <laughs> Fuck your knee. Right. Well, and then a third right. time? Uh, you're hasted, so yeah. Go, oh, go, yes. go! Get him! Get him! I'm talking like baseball swing. Level. Yeah, I some damage. Giant oh, gods don't On mean. the third swing yeah. after he took out both his kneecaps. The third one coming in. How do you want to do this? Ooh, right to the side of the... Oh, um, no. Let me not tell you. No, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? I was going to say right to the side of the head, like... Like a mob movie. I agree. That would have been a great way to do it. Finish him. Just right. like that. All right, so you get those two kneecaps and you make him fully down on all fours as he's holding onto them all one hand and just... Full slam the, the hammer straight to the side of his temple. You hear that sickening crack as his eyes just go dumbfounded and roll back. A heavy thud right into the marble. I think of uh, Kill Bill, how uh, Gogo Yubari died. Damn. At that point, you do see his body start to return to ash as he is sent back to the plane that he had come from originally. Oh, there's no one close enough for him to hit. I would have added insult to injury. <laughs> have him crush his own allies. But as Rain has fully banished Fiona back to the plane of Jotuns. Ramus lets out a giant roar. Alright. With that, you do see the, the runic symbols carved into the walls of this great hall. Fade. But the remaining soldiers that were called from beyond still remain and have to be dealt with. We got these. We remain there, right? Rangers, finish them! Yes, I'm with you right here. Alright. Excellent work! Help me, please! As you hear Robinoff kind of trying to handle the specters and the giants. this one. Yay. Does he leave any trophy? Uh, 
with the throne and the gold and everything, that's about it. And the rest was sent back with him and his plane. The hammer as well? Yeah. Darn. I want to inspect that thing. That one would be a hard one to get. Alright, time to open the Ark of the Covenant then. Drops that frost giant zombie. Hell yeah. Just in time as the specter quickly comes in to continue grabbing health from this dragon. Both of them. It sinks its hands twice over into Frobenoth, rending scale and flesh. That Frobenoth is actually bloodied. This frost giant zombie. Uh, well, he sees a new contender as well as the lightning normal. Or the living hey, lightning, hold on I should now. say. Gonna try and crush Nero with one and swing another at the living lightning. That's 17 to try and hit the living lightning. Uh, that just hits with, um, the uh, Pizipins. Alright, 27 slashing and. Well, the 19 to try and hit near, and that bounces off the armor you gave. Uh, still non magical, right? Correct. So 27 becomes. 24 uh, reduced to 12. Uh, 24 becomes 12. Thank you. And this boy is going to go after the Hulk because he's got that tasty health. Uh, he starts. Uh, yes, 2d6. Nice. Alrighty, as he's cooking, but he's still trying to pull the energy from this creature. 25 and a 19 to hit it. Uh, both of those hit. Alright, 22 force, well, necrotic for a total of 34. And then the second one will do 21 and 10 for a total of 31 damage. Oh, by one. Then it looks hungrily at me for... Me. Kingster Giant is dead, so he's no longer feared. <sighs> he looks at everyone like almost kind of dumbfounded and amazed at all of you surrounding the throne and it cleared and he didn't even have to get up there. Surprised you brought me along at all. <sighs> oh. Wouldn't want to keep you away from this. <laughs> Still fun! As he charges over the hammer of thunderbolts and will put two into the specter. And both definitely hitting with a 42 bludgeoning and 46 and it immediately vaporizes that one. And oh, end over end readies the hammer of thunderbolts for the skeleton to approach. Me four. Or actually Yeah, what? about that skeleton approaching. Uh <laughs> Me is going to step forth and uh oh god cast wish uh sunburst oh brilliant light brilliant sunlight flashes in a 60 foot radius uh catching these three bad boys uh they need to make con saves dc 23 uh versus Radiant damage and blinded, because they're undead, they have a uh, disadvantage on this save. And that is all failures, roll me damage. Excellent, that is 12 d6 radiant, and they are also blinded. Excellent. They can save against the blinded uh, on their turns. 42 radiant damage. Uh, as the sun briefly appears behind them. <laughs> As the radiance fucking scorches out, all three of these things shrill out in an echoing voice through the hall that is chilling to your core, but you can see they are being purged slowly and cooking. Uh, and as a... Oh, wait, no, that's not how that works. Oh, I'm stupid. Um... Me is going to... Can I immediately burn a reaction? 
Uh, yeah, but that would take your reaction for the entirety. That's fine. He wants to cast shield. All right. Uh, uh, and you, he shields, and the arcane ward refills because that's a abjuration spell. All right. That's him. This giant, no longer feared, but also very near death at this point. But he's still going to keep fighting. Try and put two into the boss giant. Which both of those will actually land. A total of 59 slashing damage to this thing. Living lightning. Uh, living lightning goes and does the same thing. As it did before. Oh, me moved. Oh, fuck. Oh, he doesn't get advantage. Oh, wait, he's blinded. Yes, it does. Yep. All right, then it doesn't even need to move. Never <laughs> mind. Apologies. Living Lightning will go... Actually, no. The Living Lightning is going to go here, and because they're all blinded, it makes a Lightning Bolt Ooh. mimicry. Uh, I believe they all have disadvantage because of that. That one with the damage. That one with the damage is a crumble immediately. This one... A disadvantage. We'll take the full 32 damage on that. Excellent. The, the conga line gets very small. I got mine! How you doing? And me looks at Modar. Modar goes, still working on it! You've call this out and then you hear two loud crunches from across the hall near the giant uh oh as he is slowly hobbling back oh almost dead but you do see this massive crack in his skull and he's just pouring blood but slowly hobbling back which one is this the one surrounded by the three. Oh, this guy yeah mm-hmm The fire, he heal him. the fire gaunt has slammed its maul twice into his face. Thankfully, he is fire resistant, but definitely hurting badly as you can see necrotizing flesh on his body. The very cloud. One. As this thing, as he's hobbling back, reaches into his back, and you see that cold chill as his hair even starts to di diminish over overall, and that fiery orange fades. Falls down, finally unmoving. And then turns its attention to the shadow. Goes for a spectral touch. Pretty sure the 15 would hit that one. And yeah, that shadow's popping with it. Does 18 force damage alone from the first part. Start to float on over to Modar. Finally. Made time? <laughs> Thanos. All right. Uh, that one off is not looking good. All right. Top of the round, Helgard is going to see if that uh, see if this breath weapon comes back. So give me one second. Six. That's five. It does come back. Eight. All right. Woo! Um. So with. Hmm. All right. Um, with hasted action, uh, he's going to move to this position here, still within range, not like flying off anywhere. But um, uh, hasted action, he's going to do uh, multi attack. All right. Okay. Uh, and. And the 
this on the frost giant? Or yes. Oh uh, yeah, this is on the frosty. Alrighty. 22, 28, 28. They all Did hit. Those hit. Roman damage. Coming your way. And if they don't pop in a second, I'll just manually. Uh, if you click the right click in the word attack, oh. not the bite. In the chat bar. There you go. Uh, okay, I got you the word. My bad. Good lord. Alright. It's gonna be 37, 48 altogether. To Excellent. the frosty. Excellent damage as you bloody that one. It looks di very disgruntled, but. Almost like subtle whispers of pain, but I can't speak vocally. Okay, and then uh, with main, he's gonna breath weapon. Hey, there you go. I had to catch all three. Um, I don't know How if it'll reach it? 90 feet. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, it's a lightning bolt. Actually, yeah, no, it probably will reach 90 feet. Let me just check the card. Uh, lightning breath, 90 foot line. Perfect. There you go. All those doing people. it and damage uh, if they don't make the save uh, on 69 <laughs> believe it 69. very nice all right the gaunt right at the end just because it's the very crisp of the line of tucks just enough back to not take the full but the rest to do I like to imagine he he doesn't even react in time. He just goes, uh, but actually like like falls backwards as he's hit out of the beam. <laughs> just and stops right in front of his face. Yeah. <laughs> that moment where you see shit fly by your head and you're like, oh. Does that take any of them, or are they all just wounded? They are definitely wounded, because some of them were stuck behind, but they have been locked up without getting too much well done. Okay. That is Hailguard. Alrighty. This guy uh, sees a Spectre Boy that he can swing at upward. That swing. Both definitely landing. Thankfully, he's carrying a plus two great X, so. Wait, isn't there a wall of force there? He's, he's tall, tall enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. And Frobenoth's flying and the Spectre's flying, so that's swinging upward, kind of. Gotcha. That good verticality going on. It's the Spectre. It is blind. Let's see. Roll a d3 to see which direction he kind of hobbles as he's trying to remember. Nearest direction for that that blind squiggle on disadvantage grabbies. Nineteen would miss, but a twenty-seven still would hit her for well thirty-one damage. Pretty much nothing. And no, find a guard. All right. Uh, do, do, do. okay. Thalos proper. Um, you guys see his wings move before he does. They flare out to the side, and he's off. As he says, "I have to save Fravenroth. He's the whole reason we're here." Goes up and over to here, and uh, pretty much way starts wailing on the frosty. Oh no, not the frosty. Uh, the spiritual. Uh, Weird spirit. In the specter. All right. Oh. Thirty twenty six. Definitely hits. So Only really that damage. That's the first one might do it. That's nineteen. Uh, two, 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 two. Eighteen slashing and nineteen radiant, bringing us to thirty seven. No, no. Yeah, thirty seven. Explodes that specter, and Frogmoth is able to finally catch her breath and not being rent, but you see there's necrotized scars all over her body from where this thing was ripping out scales and pulling her life force out. Okay. 
then can I direct the other attack to to the uh, frost giant, the yes. undead frost giant there? Yes, you can. Go ahead and roll me damage. All right, that one's gonna catch 16 slashing, 23 radiant. Just give us 39 altogether. That another one sundered, especially with the radiant damage, unable to make the four two checks. And then Dallas will continue to fly by and land on this side of uh, this frost giant and his last two great short strikes. Alrighty. Ooh, uh, one crit. Oh, uh, yeah, no advantage. Okay. So one critical miss, but the other one is a 19. Definitely hits. Roll damage. This cat catches 25 slashing, 19 radiant. So we're looking at 44 damage altogether. He's filled in six, is an eight. Hobbling, but he's still up somehow. That's Thalos. God damn. This one. Now he sees a living creature in seven summon, so he's gonna come on over to chop some Nera. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Both of those will land. Um. Oh, she's kind of far. Yeah, she is a bit far. But even with that, she still reduces that. Takes half. Oh yeah, it's too far. She is holding her own. She's almost bloody, but not quite. This boy, well, he's going to try to freezing stare the planetar that's hit him twice. I need main Helgar to make a DC 17 con save. DC 17? Yes. Let's do it. All right. 19. Alrighty, so you are fine. You don't get hit by anything, but you do feel the freezing chill surround you for a moment. Idle on. You feel those Toros in the atmosphere. Haste action dash. Uh, I'll use my attack action flanking with Nero for advantage. Quam, I'll go ahead. Is this undead? Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay, go ahead and burn. Good. Uh, yeah. Max level smite. Uh, and then I'll. And. A second hit will fell it for sure. Okay. It's already. Don't burns. need to use. Smite. First smite burns through its undead fortitude and drops it immediately on the second swing through. And then I'll. Boop, boop, boop. That's that one. Alrighty. That's Artorius goes by right now. Good swing. Very good swing. I'm proud of you. He regens and rains aura, right? Yeah. Full action there. Uh, and there's no lair action there, so I can hit. And Nira is gonna surround this thing with me four. You're. It's a good thing she was reckless. <laughs> Unnecessarily, too. Wow, two nines and a twelve on the off days. This is why we barb out. And Remus. The room is getting cleaned up oh, pretty quickly. Okay. How's this one over here looking? Uh, Nero just chunked the living shit out of it, so it looks like it's about to go away in a nice puff. Okay, this one and this one, how are they looking? Uh, both pretty sturdy and healthy. Okay, so 
since it looks like they have it down there and going to use all this extra speed to get over here does that put oh, you hey, within yes that puts you in <laughs> advantage um yeah okay I forgot to change it so I guess we're gonna that's the end of our brand so we're gonna do this guy all right I'm going to ask him if he likes some fuck. What? <laughs> you like some fuck. Oh, please. Oh, God. Hold on. <laughs> There's more. It's coming. Okay. Did he like that some fuck? He did not like any of that. Ah, oh, damn, as you bloodied him immediately with that first bout. Um, do I have anything, any of these guys left? Oh, okay, so my boy over here. Uh, one demon. Uh, where can I put, oh. Can he go, like, next to Modar to put He already has advantage in his current position. Oh, okay. Because it's straight across or diagonal. And he's the little kid who comes up and, yeah, and kicks you in the shins afterwards. Mm -hmm. Rip his legs out. Oh, no. oh, with a goddamn nine. Oh, Bro, wait. I get an on. advantage. Okay. Oh, never mind. He's a, li he's a little spooked. This is the like the grandfather version of him. Alrighty. That's my, <laughs> that's my purse. God. All right, Modar. Hello. You got that good sound. Uh, excellent. Yes. Uh, I would like to stand here, and I will uh, expend a sorcery point to distant spell, uh, steel wind strike. God damn. All right. Uh, I sheath my sword. I pull out a magical sword of force from thin air. Like I'm a bad guy in the first Doctor Strange movie. I will attack this guy first. Fuck he up. Uh, Doctor, advantage Doctor. on that one. 28 to hit? Definitely. I would hope so. For, wow, that's a lot of ones. 17 force. Alright. I go to here. Uh, that is again an advantage. Uh, 27. Fuck him up. For 30, that's much more like it. 39 force. Just drops that one to me. I am not able to get advantage on this one. This is a normal strike. It's a 28. Good lord. For 24 force, and because I distance spelled, I appear uh, next to myself for flavor. And uh, I will... Excellent. Do that to the last one. For 30 more force. Vaporizes on that last strike. Boys Excellent. Uh, Why not on the stop, boys? <laughs> I I high five me, and we begin a complicated, intricate uh uh handshake that lasts the for the rest dance. of Modar's turn. I don't think I have a bonus action I want to do so because the the blade of I'll move the blade like it only moves thirty feet. 10, 20, 30 feet. Unless, because I distance spelled, would it move double? No, it would still. That's not a thing, right? Yeah. That's Modar. Alright. Right. The specters are there. I'm gonna move all over yonder. Oh yeah, you got that haste speed and your wings. Does haste also increase flying speed? Uh, it increases all speed, so even just with that, you'd easily be able to get up to that specter, or okay, perfect. You're just shy of that god, but able to still get into that crush range. Okay. 
I'm gonna start swinging. Beautiful. Uh, heartbreaker. That would be attack number one. I'm gonna do a second one. <laughs> well, that was good. Excellent fucking hits as you crush twice through this. Almost a, like an illusion where it looks like it would be pass, pass through easily as you still catch almost like what feels like reeds and plants the equivalent of this thing's body mass. It's still up, but only just. Okay, can I still do my third attack? Yep, because you still have your haste action on. Okay. So I'm gonna swing one more time. Alrighty, and with that, you dissipate the remains of the specter. I'm gonna stay right here. Alright. Uh, from rough is. Going to just sit down gently over here by the door and try to stay out of the way as they are devastatingly hurt. Snur. He's got words for these boys. As he is going to roll up and then he is going to hurl the hammer of thunderbolts at this fire gun. Definitely hit as you hear the sickening crunch of 50 great bludgeoning damage as the hammer goes through the armor. Snare was able to call it back. Me four. Hello. A cool 60 feet away, am I? Uh. Hmm. Fuck it. Disintegrate. Oh. See if we... Seventh level. God. Uh, yeah, no, he. Adios. Hobbling from the hammer and the disintegrate being coming at it. Immediately starts vaporizing your own spots. So you can't get out of the way. T the Kamehameha way. Falls back to ash. Oh uh, yeah, uh, the disintegrate is the is the last part of the really complicated handshake. <laughs> uh, and then they both stop concentrating at the same time. Alrighty. I cast Revivify on the dead giant. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, especially with that. You... Bye 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 money. Bye bye money. Uh, you definitely have this giant wake up. The hair of reignites as just that <gasps> deep bellowing through the armor. I own you now. <laughs> no, no, we don't own people. That's actually one of the reasons they're fighting here with us right now. I know what it means then, but I still own you. You have saved me. I do owe you. Yes. Oh, not own. <laughs> yes. Uh, Rain, would you go walk, walk a little bit closer to, to Fravoranth so that uh, you could... I have Fravoranth. Some oh. feel? Okay. I have Fravoranth covered. I'll fly over to Fravoranth and use my planetar ability. Whoa! Well, I'll just boost the shit out of him. Get some uber HP. <laughs> uh, you can tell she definitely appreciates that. And uh, that very ragged breath slowly starts to get more healthy, especially from the healing touch. Holy shit. Read from any curse, disease, poison, blindness, or deafness. 
Planetar. Uh, gather around me, giants. <laughs> you do see Kingster and the other does come over and then this one actually takes a knee respectfully, especially <laughs> thanks to you, Adelon. I'll drop a fourth level prayer of healing on them. Definitely men's over the wounds that the other had sustained, and this one who's recovering from just being revived. So that's gonna be four meetings. I'm in your debt. I will follow you anywhere. Woohoo! Two ones. They get. They all gain a whopping fifteen. Well, we could use an army or whatever you have to help. I'll also include myself and Artorius. Artorius surprisingly did not get hit. What Even a fucking bitch! Aladdin. In the aura, you have to start your turn there, and you didn't even get a chance to start his turn in the embers. Maybe Nira walked over while you were yeah. doing that ten-minute prayer. She would have snuck in there. And I'll, any of you guys... a, and I'll get this one random demon. Are any of you guys hurt, or...? I'm standing close enough to rain that I will be regened before... No, the... I got my health back by, uh... Yeah. Siphoning some people. Kicking people in the dick. Alright, that's another 31 to Provenroth. And... No, I guess no one else needs it. What time you day right? I see you. I see you've taken one damage. You okay over there? <laughs> <laughs> My man what didn't even shroom is... transform this time. It was crazy. Fucking that Giga Chad today. Dallas is gigging and chatting. Dallas and Elgard uh... both land next to it. So the dragon with the with the bronze scales and the green oh. wings sort of lands right behind the planetar with the bronze wings and the green skin. <laughs> it's it's. It's kind of divine, and then they both sort of shrink down into reflections of Thalos looking at each other. Wearing matching outfits. Doop. And then they touch fingertips. Like, Boop. Thank you. Go tanks. <laughs> Idolin leans in and whispers to Nira. Damn. Was that cut off at the... I own you too. <laughs> Only if you pay enough. Empty pockets. Lit. A button. You see her kind of shrugs as she starts shoveling gold into her bag <laughs> from the pile you're standing in. A bent uh, okay, paper yeah. clip. <laughs> Same old yeah, I forgot, I, I forgot to uh, do what I do best. Grandma starts rummaging through shit. <laughs> this is this is this is still Frobenron's domain. It's his money. Is it or oh okay? So Ramus looks at the dragon first. Is like eh eh. Never indeed this treasure has remained unmoved for his fear and ours. I was afraid it might disturb him. All right, so Ramus starts rummaging through shit. Final one takes. The seat on the throne, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Properly stand guard by her. Um. Can I. Is there anything that uh, my a detect magic would reveal about all of the, the gold and goodies? Specifically, I'm wondering about this thing. What's the Ark of the Covenant up to? The glorious Ark of the Covenant. Right, let's, let's get that. So Ramus uh, lines everybody up to take a raid boss clear shot. Yeah, everybody kneel in the gold like it's the end of uh, Atlantis. Oh. So, amongst all the various items that you do see here, there are quite a few decorative items though outside of it it doesn't seem like there's much else 
Though inside of the air quote Ark of the Covenant, you do find a few things that were probably what had originally baited Fjernar into his forever throne trap, which seems to be a scroll that was originally empowering this art, along with the potion that had been given an offering to him, which is a potion of storm giant strength and the scroll itself that had been, well, empowering the spell for this entire time, though still undestroyed. A spell scroll of imprisonment. I mean, unless anybody objects, Ramus grabs the potion. I would like to take the spell scroll of imprisonment, please. Do it. It's for the rest of the items that are Holy decorative, shit. along with the gold, the platinum. There is no little coin here, as that would be an insult of Fjernar himself. <laughs> Along with the legendary coat of arms that this castle originally carved into the, you know, Drake hide as well. Uh, I take the nicest thing that looks like it could be a trophy representative of this dude for our uh, bodega. That would definitely be the dragon horn rod engraved with the legendary coat of arms of Fjernar. Other options okay. that you definitely see is the giant-sized lacquered wood plate engraved with a labyrinth, as well as obviously silk coats and other things that are giant-sized but still ornate and fine material. So I defer to the team. Do we put his armor up or this other thing? The the horn rod will, is going to be way cooler on the on the wall, I think. All right, so horn rod it is. I'll add everything else to the uh, treasure hoard. Let's do it. Oh, and I take... Did all those things just disintegrate when they died? <laughs> On Fjordar? Yes, they had returned back to Yonheim with him. Are you talking about the uh, zombies? Oh, the zombies yeah. themselves? The zombies themselves, for what they had, the only thing that seems to... That fully remained because the others were skeleton. Those did crumble back into rust as well as bone meal and dust. The ones that did remain was the fire gaunt that seems to be a ancient form of fire giant armor, possibly enchanted, along with the hammer that it held. So, so it is currently giant size. You would have to possibly to attune to it if it's magical to shrink it down. No, that's going to. I just wanted a head as a trophy or something. I'm sorry, you guys already asked, did Fjernir's Maul uh, disintegrate yes. as well? Yeah, it went. Um, Josh, do you care if I convert the rest of these uh, things that are worth money into just money? Yeah, as long as it's fine with your party. If there's anything they yeah, want. Does to anybody want to pull? Does anybody want any of these things? Gilded por ordinate porcelain cup. There's a salt cellar. There is Does a that silk Drake hide belt add anything in the way of AR of AC or not so much? No, nope, it's just blinging to have a Drake hide belt sewn with platinum thread. <laughs> I, I take the thing if there's a head around or a skull. I take it for bodega. Right, for the the bodega, otherwise. Dude, you should, you should take get the skull. Yeah, get the, the skull armor. from the one that Thalos was fighting up here that looked really fucking gnarly. Yeah, the oh, what about uh, Frost Man. What about the automated uh, fire armor? Did it, uh, mm -hmm. maybe it's helm or something? For the fire gaunt, there is definitely a seared blackened skull as well as dried old flesh that still seems to have. I try, whatever's left, uh, I try to take one of each, you know? All right, so you would get a, a regular frost giant, a frost maidens, a a uh, skeletal giant skull, as well as a fire gaunt skull, that looks more mummified with almost blackened skin from the searing f fire and heat that was in inside it originally. Did it have a Did it have a helmet, or was the fire just coming out and it didn't have a helmet? Just coming out of it, in which you do see the Damn spindly it. red threads of fire giant hair that's still there, weathered. Damn, a helmet would have been badass. We could have put that on our hearth. 
like have the hearth be this like piece of giant armor with fire coming out of it. But, all right, never mind. <laughs> there is still the back mantle that the fire gaunt had. We'll take it. Because okay, let's see. Didn't blow his image up much, but I'll bring it back for a moment. The fire gaunt has that almost like halo going behind the shoulders. Oh, yeah. Can I also say that I'm gonna put the fucking the the ark in the bag? You can. The ark itself is worth twenty thousand gold. Twenty thousand. It's solid gold and embellished nicely with fire giant runes in history. Well, does Snur want it, or I mean, is it he part of their history? Nothing to do with this. Oh, uh, okay. He, even though it's still fiery here, he still kind of spits at it because it wasn't made by fire giants. Ah, uh, gotcha. Kingdoms have been founded by the amount of money we have. I mean, you effectively just defeated I one feel was originally like... a king. <laughs> so, what's good? Are you starting a nation? I feel like we should maybe turn our ship into a battleship. We're still on a mission. Ooh. We're still in yeah, a cannons. <laughs> but cannons. I was more thinking armor as many times as we put holes in it. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Heavy yeah, that's plane. true. I guess. But, but cannons too, right? Like, <laughs> if we're going to deck this out, we might as well really deck it out. Uh... <laughs> As Modar is putting all of this stuff into the bag, uh, with me and Nira's help, uh, I do take out two more of those uh, gems worth a thousand five hundred uh, to remake me and Thalos later, or me and Halgard later. Sweet. I thank you for freeing me from my duties, son. Making sure their king did not return, as you could see. If he had spent any more time, more than what you'd allowed, he could easily raise an entire army to fill this whole castle again. Yeah, it sounds pretty terrible. But we hope that we can um, rely on you in the coming battles against our greater foes. We will need everyone's assistance. Uh, to determine the fate of this plane. Call on my kin. See if they can send aid. As for you, as she kind of looks towards King Snare. Otrin calls for aid. <laughs> she looks at King Snare. Thank you. And I suppose. My door is open, if you need make use of this castle. Ramus is tearing up a little bit. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> I wouldn't make use of this ever. Bloody cloud and storm giants can go rot in the pits that they made. As for the rest of you little ones, if you have... Well, uh, your known destination, I'll gladly bring my armies if it's going to be more of a fun scrap like that. Yeah, there's plenty. There's plenty waiting. We need the aid of both of you. Let's be say that between uh, both Snur and Fravenrom. Mm. Oh. The time is quick approaching. A united front against something. Can't risk the land finally having a chance to cut it out. Be an interesting time of allies, but we'll hold to our words. Especially we've seen the loyalties of King Snow. We have no issues.
You honor us with your trust. I will bow very lowly. And me is like a second behind, but exactly the same format. <laughs> the living lightning is just a lightning bolt. It's just hanging out. It doesn't bow. And I will say that you've heard stories of people with weapons like the hammer of thunderbolts, but to see it in the hands of, hands of a giant who <laughs> wields it so freely is terrifying. Yep. He was whipping that shit. Oh yeah, he f was rolling like 56 damage per hit every time. <laughs> Fucking insane. Um... I only have one uh, other thing I would ask uh, protector of, of you, the protector of the sky. Raises a bit of a brow. Name it. The arcane vault is the only place that may contain more powerful artifacts than the ones that we have already laid hands on. It would be an incredible risk to go into this battle without every possible advantage. When you seek out others of your kind, I beg you to see if you can find any remnants of the Vushian and speak to them of allowing us to access that horde. Roll me a persuasion check. Okay. Aiming for like yeah. Ugh, eight plus eight sixteen. He's like, nah, I'm good. I've extended You good fam. My, I've extended my library, but it would be difficult convincing them myself. You've already demonstrated a high prowess already. I understand. If you and uh, uh, and the others truly believe that we will not need it, then we will go without. But we have faced this foe once before, and were found lacking in the worst ways. We were forced to flee, and though we have gained new allies, including those as powerful as yourselves, there is still great fear in my heart about lack returning. I'd say lacking made us look good <laughs> that's a better word than I'd use we fled for one it of the only good. times that I've ever seen the rangers be forced away from a conflict in the entirety of my time in this plane that's immensely concerning I'd say, uh, what's the term? Up Shit's Creek without a paddle. <laughs> Modar just cringes at the uh, at that, it, like, still trying to be the utmost uh, uh, courtly, nobly boy. And Ramus is like, we were fucked. <laughs> we were shitting and fucking and pissing. It was crazy. Perhaps they will swing by it. Oh. Not to rush you little ones, but I do have a kingdom to get back to and an army to gather. Well, we thank you for your time and your help. And your equipment and how all you've done for us up to this point. I cannot thank you enough between the mine, the gifts, as well as uh, this fine weapon here, as he kind of hefts the hammer of thunderbolts gleefully. Demonstrate even more excellent uses for it. I'll wait by your tree. Oh yeah, do you are you able to do that again, Thalos, or do you need me to teleport people? Yeah, no, I cast the original at seven, and I haven't used an eight yet, so okay, I'll just use an eight slot, my my eight slot, and get everybody back. Appreciate you. What time of day is it? 
It's uh, just after breakfast. No, I'm just asking. It'll be about noon. Brunch! Yeah, I said rushed here originally. Slept at King Snare's place and then headed out from there to here. Do you see you have a fire giant buddy who seems to be sticking to that one right now? Oh, Hell did yeah. we get another one? <laughs> Gotta catch him all. <laughs> she did NPCs. say NPCs. Yeah. Hello, Sir Dragon. Miss Dragon. <laughs> Miss Dragon. It's pronounced Mommy. Hi. As payment for saving your kingdom, I require a finely crafted blade. Oh, Jesus. We still got to work on that, huh? Yeah. If I had one to offer, I th would gladly hand it over, but... Uh, I mean, the one who would have been good to make the blade just left. Yeah. Yeah. Dragons don't forge things. I choose to ignore the peanut gallery. <laughs> I heard you have an arcane treasury. Lock. Vault. Nope. nope. That's... You, you misheard. Robin Roth is was one of the people on the council and is not in possession of even the ability to Travis open like, sorry, or locate sorry. I the choose to ignore the peanut gallery. You shall get me a sword from that vault. You face shall if my, anything my... ignore the words of this clearly misguided attempt at your favor, Provenant. Thank you, we leave you in peace. Let's go. Appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> I appreciate the attempt though. <laughs> I will see what I can do with the arcane bolt. Yeah, it did bolt Ashton. Yeah, Ashton, Ashton was borrowing it. He never claimed well, it. Yeah, well, he never returned it either. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's in the party's possession. Yeah, it's in the bag. We picked it up when, when he exploded into a lady. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Retreat to her lair for the time to recover. I think negotiations went pretty well. Adolan, I know you are from a different time, but is respect and courtesy not something that is practiced where you were from? It is well learned from my lady. If I am to bow my knee, that would imply that any living thing is above me. It's not as much about bowing as it is just, you know, being a little nicer occasionally. This isn't about anyone being greater than the other. It's about treating e others as equals. You do not speak down to other people, especially if they don't speak down to you. You have no right to make claim the way that you did. I think we should agree to disagree. <laughs> Bad enough. Don't worry, boss. Idolin will put her hand on Rain's shoulder. We'll get you that castle thing. Hell yeah. Like, wait, what? Campus. Wait, what? Has, has oh yeah, that, <laughs> you forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely um, did. Has Tempest, rain? I defeated rolled. a god today. Has rain Can I have my temple? temple? <laughs> I mean, Josh? I really am the whole. Still got a roll for it. 
Remind me, do I roll a hundred? Is this gonna be our divine? A hundred. You need an eighteen or lower. Or wait, Josh, do we level up? Uh, I would say after this fight, definitely level up. We only need two thousand XP Fuck. to level up. Fuck. Fuck. I Shit just want to say that piss. my god is either deaf or just straight up ignoring me. <laughs> I want this That's entire so fucking immaculate funny. temple dedicated. All I want is the goddamn fucking whatever. I'm just trying to make him look good, but their uh, their phones on silent and they're playing Fortnite right now. We got the whole aristocracy yeah, just sitting straight there, up. and suddenly it just turns into tempest symbology. It's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? That'd be amazing, actually. Yeah, level up. How much should, what we... should we be at? Look, well, allow me to get that juicy fucking XP train going. This will take me a minute to calculate. If you want to just give us 20th right now, it's only 50,200 or 52,000. I'm going to have to do them. If you're, if you're, if you're feeling like it. Hmm. I got to figure out a good uh, level three archetype for for fighter. Ooh, um, may I Master? suggest may I suggest Echo Knight so that you can have another <laughs> Ramus and be and now we can have six of three characters. Christ, the summer. I was trying to see because they can like switch places. I was trying to see if he'll let me also switch places with my shadows. Oop. That'd be pretty cool. But let's see. I was looking oh. at that. Um, Speaking of Bloodhunters, like boring as shit after sixteen. Hey Thalos, can I can I talk to you? Do you want, can I talk to you downstairs for a second? Oh boy, here we go. But of course, my friend. They're doing chicanery. 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 All right, Josh, you're welcome to you're welcome to come, but I I am trying to pull a fast one on you, so come at your own risk. I mean, you're always pulling fast ones anyway. Not like I'm yeah. not murder fucking you half the time with things I'd make. He can come whenever he wants. That's none of your business. It's true. I'm all in the murder fuck kill business. That's why I DM. I'm sure it's some sh shenanigan build. Wow. Ooh, can I play replace my shadows with shadow versions of me? Hmm. I'll have to debate on that one a little bit. Want to say yes? I'll have to think it over. We might have to keep it with the same health, but still the same hit. All right. Well, we'll we'll figure something out. Pretty much. Although I like the strength drain. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Like keeping the strength drain and all that, but with your to hit on rotunda part, but the same health bubble as a shadow. Those things are like level four, though. <laughs> it is true, but strength drain is permanent until short rest, and that shit hurts. If they hit. Well, if they have to, the to hit modifier of what you have. Oh, yeah, hit. of my weapon, though. True. That makes sense. It's a good, good chain. I'm like, I should just one day just summon all five shadows, but if none of them hit, it's going to be pointless with their 17 health. Sometimes those shadows last you pretty long. It just depends if something's got a shitload of AOE. Yeah.
Uh oh, I got access to Gios. Jeez. A V forms in my eye. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I will become the ruler of Britannia. How dare you? Be anchored as you guys got the 31,920 XP. Should be it as we will carry on next time as you guys make ready to return Snur back to his kingdom and. Get ready to head forth for the army and the, the entryway to the Underdark.